So I was in the process of editing this video and I've just had a lot on my mind. I just keep thinking about there's one update I haven't told you guys about. I mentioned it a long time ago, like sometime last year when I started my YouTube channel that I'd be going away to Georgia, that I'd be a federal officer and the time has come for me to leave. So that was the update I was talking about in the previous video where I said I would no longer be in Chicago. And May 18th, I will be in Michigan for 30 days, and that's pre-academy training. So that's where I'll be stationed. I'll be in Michigan, so they're basically going to show me what I'll be doing. And then I'm going to Georgia for the academy, so I'll be in Georgia for 18 weeks. And then after the 18 weeks, I go right back to Michigan, and then I'm there. So am I planning on moving from Michigan back here to Chicago? Um, I hope to be able to transfer laterally back to Chicago, So, but there's a one-year probation period, so after I return from the academy, assuming I pass everything, which I should, I have a one-year probation period where I have to be there one year, not mess up anything, and then after that, I can either come back to Chicago, go to another location in the U.S., or I can try and possibly go overseas. So those are some of my options right now, and that's... Um, that's one thing that's coming up. So today is what, April 20th, 20, April 21st. So I got a little under a month until I go away to Michigan and I will no longer be living at home. So once I leave, that'll probably be the last time I, I ever live at home because I'll be in Michigan for a year. I'll be living out there. And then, yeah, I start my own life. It's a little scary. Uh, I'm 24 years old. My birthday was in February, so yeah, now I'm 24. Um, I actually have my birthdays after Christian Guzman. For those of you that watch his videos too, my day was after my birthday was after his, the next day. But yeah, 24 years old, about to be a federal officer, about to start my life, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of good things coming. So I'm definitely gonna take the YouTube channel with me on this adventure. I'm pretty sure I can't take you guys with me inside of the federal facility, training facility. But when I'm out and about, like on the weekends, because it's basically like what I heard, it's like a college atmosphere. You go to class and you go to tactical training, you do all this stuff. And then after you just basically have free time to yourself. So it's like college. So you can go and study for your exams and your physicals and all this um, or you can go have your leisure time, you can go to the gym, you can go out if you need to, so it's going to be like a college type atmosphere, but like I said, I don't think I'll be able to record on the federal facility base. Um, but yeah, I'll have more details for you guys when that happens, but right now I'm about to go get food with my mom, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. The weather here in Chicago is very deceiving. It's nice and sunny outside, but it's cold. It's like... 50. I mean, it's not that cold compared to like other weather we've had, but it looks like it would be like a 70s day and it's uh, nice and cold. We're about to have some awesome food. Don't know what I'm gonna get yet. Grandparents just showed up. Alright, so I'm gonna get this. Carne asada a la tan pequeña. This one right here. Man, that looks awesome. What's going on guys? So I just woke up from a little nap. It was kind of a late nap, but it was an unexpected nap after that um after that meal I finished recording this video or finished recording. I finished editing this video and I did the commentary and everything. Right now it's uploading. But I had already planned out my, my shoulder workout that I was going to do. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. But I'm using this app called Rep Count. So basically I already have planned out what I want to do. The sets aren't right, I gotta change the sets. But uh, that's what I plan to do. Those are the exercises I plan to do. And, um, oh, back up. But yeah, that's what I had planned to do, but I fell asleep. So my girlfriend actually gets out of work at 10. So we're gonna go work out together. I'm just gonna go take her some food because she hasn't eaten. And then we're gonna get the shoulder workout in. And I put that on my night. I also got this drink though. This is from um, Chipotle too, but I don't know if you'd like it. I've never had it. 
No, I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven right now. So we're going to 7-Eleven. We're gonna get water, two monsters. I'm gonna have monster instead of pre-workout. Pre-workout's too strong. So I'd rather have a monster instead of pre-workout because then I won't sleep. Creatine and arginine and drink like at least up to like right here of water and pre-workout. Which one are you gonna take? You take all oh, you took okay, that's fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was being I was being nice. I was being nice and I was like you can choose. Well, it's, fine. This, so it's, it's fine. It's fine. This one's good too. It is good. This one's good too. Why don't we What's do that? So right here you guys see me on the bike, I put it to level 15, I keep my RPMs above 80, and I do that for five minutes. And then at the end of those five minutes, my heart rate is elevated and I'm ready to work out. Right here you guys see me, I started with the standing overhead military press. So right here I'm doing 185 for two reps, but um, before all this I did eight sets of eight reps with 155. I just wanted to end with a heavy set. I just, I like going heavy on shoulders and uh, the, the lower back strain has been annoying me and I just, I kind of just wanted to push some heavy weight for the first time in a while. So I did 185 for two which wasn't a smart move because I didn't have my belt or my wrist wraps but uh, luckily I didn't snap my ish up so right here you see Francia she was also doing overhead uh, press she was just doing the bar she's never done this before so she was uh, trying to get used to the movement but she did really well for her first time and right here you guys see me doing the seated dumbbell, one arm dumbbell press now I stopped doing seated overhead pressing just because the fact that most of the time we tend to arch our lower back and it becomes like an upper chest movement it comes with inclined dumbbell press so what I like to do is I like to do everything standing but if I have to do it seated I'll do one arm at a time because you have to stabilize yourself and you have to use so much core that you have to lower the weight to actually engage the shoulder so it's a little harder and the fact that you get full range of motion you activate the shoulder more so the next superset that we did I'm gonna let her show you sorry that was my phone we did side lateral raises with um, rear delt raises so we just got on the bench and we were just hitting the rear delt so we did eight sets of eight reps of that superset and we did eight sets of eight reps of this superset now the seated one arm dumbbell we also did eight sets of eight reps so we just wanted to get a good sweat today it was a late workout i was just lucky that i got in there and did something but yeah that's going to end this commentary Thank you guys for the support and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So I'm back at home because I took that nap. Uh, it's really late, it's 1.10 a.m. And so my eating schedule is all messed up. But here I have my last full meal of the day. Uh, after this I have protein shakes, but food, food, this will be the last thing. Um, I have a nice beef burger, cilantro, onions, spinach, there's some mushrooms over here, 200 grams of cantaloupe, which is only like 68 calories and yeah so that's so me now it. we're gonna end this video yeah i'll see you guys later <laughs>